So I'm going to take a look at this video by Fox Carolina News and they are covering somebody called Greenville Ghost Tours. Um, I'm looking at more at the equipment aspect of this video rather than all the other rubbish that this guy comes out with but let's take a look. Like we're close enough to Halloween but spooky events are a year-round endeavor for Greenville Ghost Tours and there's a Spooky and Haunted Bar Crawl coming up tomorrow, too. We've got Gabe Matthews here from Greenville Ghost Tours. Welcome. Glad you're here. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, you operate several different kinds of tours. You often use, you know, paranormal equipment like this EMF meter. So he operates uh, paranormal ghost tours, as she just said. Uh, if she just picked up a K2 meter on the table in front of him, I can see cat balls, the dreaded cat balls. Um, it looks like he's got a REM pod. Um some kind of static detector um, a temperature gun um, a light of some sort uh, this may be triggered by em field i'm not sure yet he hasn't turned it on he's got a box and i think he's got a doll in the box let's check it out um give us a quick little rundown yeah, of what's you, you know i'm a certified paranormal this. investigator I have a whole... what a bold statement to make i'm a certified paranormal investigator thing is there's no governing body as such to cover um, this type of field of paranormal investigating so nobody exactly is certified you have people that have more experience than others um, we've had I've been doing this since I was 18 I'm now 51 wet the math out I'm getting too old to wet this math out um, but yeah look at it is um, He's going for it. Let's check out what he's going to say now. Whole bunch of equipment, but yeah, we'll talk about the. This is a rugged, robust, portable, portable, powerful, easy to use electromagnetic field meter that measures EMF at a very fast speed. Measures EMF at a very fast speed. They all measure them at the same speed. To be fair, what he has picked up there and what she has picked up is a K2 EMF meter. Uh, there is a video on our page. Um, talking about these meters uh, absolutely everything will make these things flash because they are not shielded circuits which means radio frequencies such as mobile phones uh, two-way radios uh, microwaves um, things like that that type of frequency will make these go off and you've got to remember they're in TV studio with all that equipment around them everything electronic will make these things go off uh, so this will measure electricity uh, but you know it also measures you know to me doesn't really measure electricity it measures the em field from electricity but in one respect i suppose they measure the em field from ac current which is electricity um i don't think he knows this Meet ghost activity because I consider ghosts themselves to be energy. If you think about a haunting, um, a ghost would move an object by itself. It would need energy in order to do that. So if it's not energy, at least it's able to. So that K2 meter keeps twitching. I can't see what strength it's at 1.5 to 2.5 milli ghosts. So it's following the same pattern. There's something electrical making this flash. It's not a ghost, it's not the haunted doll haunted doll what he's got in the box to manipulate that so you know what we're seeing here is this going all crazy and it could be because i actually brought a spirit vessel a, a haunted doll a um which is why it's going off and, and hopefully it's okay that i at least a um could be all the equipment in the studio what is making your emf meters light up um or perhaps there is something hidden in the doll i don't know i'm just saying haven't tested it People do had magnets in these things, which also set off K2 meters. Yeah, spirit vessel wow, here. Wow, I, I would have liked the heads up okay. on that, but I you know have, what? You're full okay. of surprises. Well, this is a Faraday like cage. Uh, a Faraday, uh, uh, so it like does kind of uh, shield it from being unleashed. Okay. And it, it shields it from being unleashed. He's saying um, the box is like a Faraday cage. I can't see what it's made of. Is it metal? Um, perhaps that would stop radio waves um, if we consider 
that spirits exist and they are made of an energy um, energy would be able to pass through this type of box um, this guy doesn't really know what he's talking about if you have any problems I'll come back to uh, try to you can come back and then fix it. So sure. once whatever you've unleashed here, I, I just you know, you've been doing this for about a year, you, you take people on walking tours, you go to What if he's unleashed? Nothing. Um she just said he's been doing it about a year. It shows he has no experience. He is not an investigator. Um is what we would call a ghost hunter at best. Um Let's see. Locations where you talk about paranormal events that happen there. No. Uh, let's jump. Let's jump forward. I want to see where you're using the equipment. Equipment there. We caught some good EVPs, electronic voice phenomenon at the Queenstown Bridge. Yeah. All right. So EVPs. He's, I'm just. Oh, he has got a sound recorder there. By the looks, I think that's it there. Uh, possibly. I haven't got a good view of that. Quite possible, but being outside taking sound recording, you have to take that into consideration. Um, yeah, it's telling a ghost story. I'm not going to watch that. I'm here to look at this equipment uh, because that is that is our background. We know what equipment um, works best, how equipment is triggered by other equipment and um, interference in the area such as RF signals and things like that. Okay, let's see what this guy's got to say. The alcohol that you drink and booze being the sound that a ghost makes. Uh, then you can come on the spooky and haunted bar crawl, which we're offering them a what? once a week uh, through the Halloween season. Well, let me, let me and, you know, just go back a bit. Paranormal twos and booze. Bring your spooky and haunted bar crawl tomorrow. Yeah, so if you want uh, booze and booze, yeah. uh, booze being the alcohol that you drink and booze being yeah. the sound that a ghost makes. Uh, then you can come on the spooky and haunted bar crawl, which we're offering them a once a week okay. uh, through the Halloween season. And, you know, it kind of does the paranormal tour, uh, you know. All right. Well, I hope you've got the right insurances, because if people are getting drunk and consuming alcohol on one of your ghost tours, um, there's a lot of room for things to go wrong. Um, yeah, we wouldn't do that, I don't think. So yeah, um, Greenville Ghost Tours, it's up to you guys, please do not take this type of group seriously, they're calling themselves paranormal investigators, they don't know much about their own equipment, um, they're doing ghost walks, fair enough, um, as a pub crawl where people are consuming alcohol, um, take it how it is. What do you guys think about this? I'm going to check out some more of his videos um, because I would like to look at how he's using his equipment and how he goes about his investigation. It always intrigues me how other people um, kind of investigate. But, you know, this guy is probably running a business. Ghost hunters, not investigators. There's a difference. So, there you have it, guys. Um... Please go check our page out, PSI, which there it is on the screen. So just type in at PSI Paranormal and that should take you straight to us if you type it in the search on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to go over and take a look at this guy's videos. Take care.